truck literally just pulled up while i was doing journeys here so you know what that mean i got some packages in the mail the other day something else came so i ordered a rug and i want to look at it before like i talk too much about it but i ordered a rug i hope i like it if i like it i'll give y'all more info i'll link it below um the only thing is i don't know if i ordered the right size because this rug is supposed to go in the living room and when the rug pack came the other day and when i like pulled it out it looked i didn't pull it out fully i like laid it down flat and it looked a little small hopefully i like it i looked at a lot of reviews i always look at reviews before i order anything i liked how like some of the people had it in their house and i thought i measured correctly like i went and got the measuring tape and everything and put it out but it might be like a little bit too small i might have to go up one size not sure but this is just kind of like from what I'm seeing and what I'm thinking about. So if not, then it's definitely going to come in my room because from the pictures, I really like this. So we're just going to see. Um, right now it's in the hallway because Chris bought it in the hallway when he left out. So I'm going to just go grab it and we're just going to try to lay it out and see how everything looks. Hopefully it looks good. Fingers crossed. Literally run into the car to get my tripod so I can like do this vlog. But just from looking at it. I love it. Oh my God. The reviews was really good. Like people was like, it's so nice to walk on. And also they said they put a rug pack under it, which is why I bought a rug pack. And then I also caught the rug on sale, like during the Memorial Day sale or whatever. So I ended up getting the rug pack and the rug because I wanted to, you know, be somewhat soft to walk on because I think like it looks like a jute rug, but it's not a jute rug. I don't know y'all. I'll show y'all when I come right back. It's a new day, y'all, but I'm back with the update on the rug. I put it down. I had to put the rug pad under it. It was a whole project because I had to move, like, each part of the, like, the seats of the couch and all that, but it's down. So I want to show y'all that, and then I want to show y'all a few other things, like, that I picked up from uh, the store because I recently went to Home Goods and might have been Target, too, or Home Sense. I don't know, but I'll show y'all. I'm going to pull the stuff out. And, oh, yeah, Target, too. So I'm gonna pull that stuff out and then I'll show y'all everything. But first, let me show y'all the rug because I have to like do some adjustments. So this is the rug, which I absolutely love it. However, the pad is a little bit bigger than the actual rug. So I have to cut it. I have to do some cutting, which I'm about to do right now. And then like that side. Um, But overall, I love it. I feel like I just need to add like some pillows and stuff. And then it'll be perfect. Um, I also picked up a few things that I want to show y'all. But I'll start off with... I have to get the other stuff. So I'll start off with... Y'all, look at my bobble bar ring first off. 
so cute. I put it on this finger just, I don't even know why, because I didn't wear it on this finger, but it's so cute. Um, anyway, I picked up these two pieces of artwork from HomeSense. They came in a pack, and I thought that they went really well with like the color scheme and stuff that I was doing. Plus, I was thinking about making my own anyway, so I think it went perfect. However, I know I have them right there, but I don't know if I want them right there. I feel like on this black wall, I don't know. Like, I'm thinking about taking the wallpaper off. Whether I do or not, I think I want to put one of the artworks, like, right here. Y'all, that's my bonnet. Don't, don't mind that. But I want to put it over here to cover the... This is the thing for the doorbell. So, it's still going to work perfectly fine. But I would like to cover it up because it's, like such an eyesore on the wall and then eventually i want to build like a console table to go in this area but i feel like turning the artwork sideways and putting it right there would be really nice um but i got two so i don't know like maybe one over here maybe one over there or that might be too close so maybe i don't know we gotta see but that's the first um like pack of or the first items that i picked up and then i'm going to show y'all the rest in a sec. I have been like buying little things here and there and then like, you know, putting it to the side until I'm ready to use it. So I want to show y'all the stuff that I've been picking up. Um, I went to Target the other day and I picked up this Threshold and Studio McGee throw blanket. I went in the store and I saw, I was like, oh snap, I scanned it and it was like sold out everywhere. So I don't know how I got my hands on it, but um, I got it. It was on sale and I like it because I like, you know, I like this, like the fringy part, like the tassels. I like that it's knitted, which is like the other one that I had in here. I had the Castellona knit blanket in here, but that one is so huge. Like when I originally bought it, it was for my king size bed and I think it's more appropriate for it. I decided to scale down on the size and I think this is perfect. So we're going to put this up on the couch today too after I do the cut it of the pad um, in a little bit. Another thing that I got was this tray, which is why I want to take the black wall down because like I'm going to have black accents, but I feel like the black wall is just really like bold. I just don't think that I'm feeling the black wall that much anymore. It was supposed to be temporarily anyway. I just was doing it, you know, just to like do something while we were in the process of trying to get everything together. But I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I picked up this tray and it's just a wooden tray, but it's black and I don't know what I'll put inside of it. Maybe I'll use it for like us to put our keys in once I build that console table or whatever. I don't know, but I still wanted to have it. Um, I also picked up, which I'm sure y'all seen this book. It's a copy table book and I'm sure y'all seen it on so many. What? Can I get my book? I'm sure y'all seen this book on so many um, like different, you know, YouTube channels or Instagram pages, but I just love it because of the brown. Um, like I love this brown border. I feel like that will look so nice. Even if I were to put it on that table, I don't know. I just liked it. So I wanted to have it in my collection. And then the last thing that I got, which I'm also sure that y'all saw this all over as well but I still wanted to get it which is this base from Target thought it was cute I thought it like flows with everything that I have going on in my house and so I didn't want to leave it so that's pretty much everything that I picked up recently those photos that stuff and like this rug and stuff but now what i want to do is adjust the um padding y'all i really like this rug like i probably should show y'all a better shot but i really like this rug the padding under it just makes it super like even more soft and i'm glad i went with it i looked at the reviews and people were saying the same thing they, they got the padding and it was perfect because the rug without the padding like stretches but with the padding it keeps it in place so it's perfect. I'm not gonna let my kids eat in here so they won't destroy it, but I love it. No shoes, we already don't wear shoes in the house, so it's perfect. 
um my only thing is just figuring out this black wall situation because i really don't know what i want to do um but for the time being i'm gonna do everything that i said i'm gonna do and then yeah we gotta deliver them together as as best as we can for right now at least All right, so I went to my garage and got this planner out. I wanna try to put this, this, or that one inside of this. I got this from the old house, I had this, but I got it from Marshalls. It was like $17, but it was definitely a dupe of a planter that I had found on CB2's website. Um, I got this size and I had got a smaller size as well, and I still have that one too. Um, so I'm gonna see if it fits in it. That base over there is a little big. But I hope it does, so we'll see. things you just gotta figure it out But the center of the console, okay. Add like something, right? Like in here. That looks nice, y'all. That looks nice. Let me give y'all a close up. Close up. Very simple. Definitely need like more, but I feel like it looks nice. I'm gonna put this cord. Like tuck it behind here. Cause that's not cute. <clears throat> I'll 
probably got some more stuff in my room that I can use. Maybe I should put a candle up there or something. Ugh. That's good for now. I'll probably put like a plant right there, right? Plant or something. I like this though. That's cute. Even if I don't put nothing inside, I still feel like it's cute. But I feel like to balance it off, does it need something over there? This ring looks so crazy with my, does it need something over here? Or I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go <laughs> from this vlog because it's just been a bunch of putting like this simple stuff to like up in the living room and stuff. Um, you know, I'm really trying to record the process. We've been here for a year and just now like, like getting actually like really getting things. Like the bedroom is like almost done. That was like one of the first things in the kids room of course, but this living room was a process cause we got you know, we had to do the couch. It's just, it's, it's just a lot. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. As always, thank you so much for supporting me. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. At first I said that I love you.